Bitterback Novelty. Whoa. We Welcome back li to fucking Liquid Ephelium. And Dragon something. <laughs> yeah. Dragon Bit. <laughs> Dragon Bit. Somebody, somebody else has got more of those. I know they do. Which one is it under? <laughs> you sons of bitches had more. I know you fucking did. I had more than that. Welcome back to I had more. Where are they? Where are you going? Ah, ah I chewed it. You give me that shit. You didn't give me that? You know I too. What, are you, what were you trying to look for? I thought I had more of those like things that can be purified. I should have had more, but I guess not. You stinky bitch! Right. You are a stinky bitch! <laughs> My name is Ora. My name is Stinky Bitch. Please don't make fun of me for that. That's just my name. Don't Hi guys, this is my first video. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> this is my first video. I've never sang before. Don't make fun of me. Please don't make fun of me. Okay. Green lovers come rescue me. That's a real song. Yeah. I hear it on the radio at work sometimes. It's kind of funny. Don't tell my girlfriend. <laughs> is, it, is that part of the song too? No. No, no like the act, that's like a real song. Like they're taking a real song and just changing the lyrics. Like I hear it on the fucking the breeze at work sometimes. What's, what's it normally? Called? I don't know. Is it called Green Lovers? <laughs> it's not Green Lovers. That's definitely not it. But it's that is a real song. I'm pretty sure. This up, Green, Green <coughs> Lovers, <coughs> real song. original song. Yeah, it's I, I, it's some like R and B soul shit. I don't know. It is a real song though. Um, I think it is anyway. <coughs> I swear I've heard it at work, unless they they are actually <laughs> they're actually playing <laughs> Green Lovers on the radio. <laughs> I mean, they could. It's only what like ten seconds long. Yeah. Um. Green <sighs> Oh, fuck. <coughs> My pussy. I'm sorry, what? Huh? When did you get a pussy? I coughed. <laughs> is is that just what happens when you Shh. cough? <coughs> yeah, I become <coughs> one. Beats. I become one when I cough. <laughs> the whole pussy or just like a pussy? Yeah. Okay. All that. I, uh... Recently, I, I played through The Last of Us 1 all over again, because mm -hmm. it's been a while since I've played it. You're getting ready and for Last of Us yeah, 2? Yeah, kind of in preparation for Last of Us 2, which I believe they, uh, at the time of recording this, have they pushed it back into May, which is alright, May 2020. Okay. Uh, I think it was supposed to release in, Mar in February, but then they pushed it back, because I guess they found a bug in it or something like that. And then that gives them more time to kind of polish it up a little bit, whatever that sort of shit. So, yeah. I, I, you know, anytime a game gets delayed, it's a good thing. Um, but yeah, I played through it again, and I'm like, man, this game is still so fucking good. <laughs> like, it really, like, because me and Drew were talking about it at work, too, because he played it, and he, that was, like, probably his favorite game that he's played so far, I think. Um, and it's, you know, yeah, I played it, played through it again, and, like, I kind of forgot like you know wow like this game is really fucking <laughs> like some people throw around the word masterpiece quite a bit for a lot of games and uh i feel like last of us is one of the only games that that i've played in recent years that deserves that sort of thing yeah like it really is that good um 
Yeah, I mean, it's not everybody's cup of tea, sure, but, you know, I think it's, like, just the way that the story's told, and the gameplay elements are really simple and, and easy to understand, and... Yeah, I thought it was really well done. And this, you know, it's it kind of like I guess like the one thing I could say that might be kind of to its detriment is that the 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 theme or like you know the setting is a little like tried and like over and over and done millions of times over, so it's kind of not original in that sense. But yeah, but when it came out, I mean, it wasn't as polluted as it is now. Yeah, right. Which that's why though we're it about. still was. A bit. Yeah, it still was a bit. Like, with kind of like, you know, how, uh... Fucking, what's it called? Walking Dead and all that shit yeah. came out and all that, you know? Yeah, yeah, I remember it was a very good play. I like that game. I like it a lot, too. It's really good. Did you play the, uh... The other? Yes. With, uh... Derek didn't like that. No? And I'm like, well, fuck you, Derek. <clears throat> I mean, it's not... You're not going to go back and play Left Behind a million times over because it's short and it's more character-driven than the rest of the game because it's just you walking around a mall the whole time, pretty much, you know. Like, yeah. it's all the story shit with her and her friend or whatever. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so you're not going to play that one a bunch of times over because there's really not a lot of content there, but it's a nice little companion piece to yeah. the to the main game, I'd say. Like So for that, like I think it's fine. Why didn't Derek like it? Because he thought it was boring. And I'm like, well, it's not all about the gameplay, Derek. It's about the fucking... Story. About the characters and the background of the characters, <laughs> which I agree... Care more about them. Yeah, which I agree, like, you know, sometimes we don't need that shit, but for that game, I think it worked fine. Yeah, I mean, especially because The Last of Us was a character yeah, it was a character-driven. Yeah, it was a character-driven story. <clears throat> It's like, yeah, like, yeah, it's not the most fun DLC to play. Like, I, I'm not disputing that, but... Get out Ares, of what are you doing? <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> I like you. He had a, a lot of time to get out of the way. Yes, he did. Um, what's down there? Is it a fucking cockatrice? Yes. <laughs> you mean what's up here? Yes, it's a cockatrice. <laughs> Little um, known fact about cockatrices. That they can fly. Yeah. The worst part, though, is that they can turn you to stone. And if you get turned to stone, you die. Stone does make death. Yep. Which I think is that black shit that it shoots. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> this part, this area of the game was fun to play the last time we played it, just because I was, like, against the odds. I was fighting a dragon and a fucking lich or some shit. Mm -hmm. And then I somehow managed to kill both of them. And now I'm just, like, I... The true nature of the of this level or this area is is coming to pass where I'm just like <laughs> running around, getting completely fucked. Yeah, <laughs> running around, dying wherever you go. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> I might <laughs> I might have to go back to the main story for a little bit. So I think I was doing a lot of like side shit. Maybe I just maybe yeah. I don't know. We get back into this game at any like you know like to a degree, then we'll have to. I mean, you guys seem to be doing pretty well against this cop. <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of these fucking goblins. We just want to trade, sir. I really hope they make a sequel to this game. I like, guess like what I would really like. I I have not really been that excited for any games coming up. Like gaming re recently has kind of been like at a little bit of a dead end for me recently. Um, That's what you said like two years ago. I know. No, but I'm I'm not saying like the gaming world. I'm just saying me personally. Mm. You know, like there's really not anything that I'm super interested in. You know, yeah. I'm not saying I'm not saying the gaming world at large. No, okay. I mean you know it's. You could say that oh, fucking Tegan got taken away somewhere. She must have turned into stone. Nice. Well, I'll get her back later. Um, yeah, because Death Stranding was the only game I was really into, and, like, you know what? Like, after I've had time to stew on it, like, I like Death Stranding, don't get me wrong, but, like... It's got its problems. It's, it's... I think the big thing for me is, like, and, it, and it's unavoidable, really, is, um, half of the reason why, or, like, the main reason why I was so interested in the game to begin with is because, like, the trailer and all the promotional material is so, like, confounding. You're like, mm -hmm. what the fuck is happening? 
And then once you play the game and kind of like answer some of those questions, it's like the intrigue is gone, you know? Yeah, the the spice of... Uh, the spice of like trying to find out what the, the answers are. I think that's part of it. And then like also kind of like looking back at the gameplay. Like I, I enjoy the gameplay, don't get me wrong, but it's not gameplay that you're going to want to go back and play much of ever yeah. again. Yeah, it's pretty much once you finish it, you're done. Yeah, and that's kind of where I'm at with it. I enjoyed it. I do enjoy it. <coughs> Um, but it's definitely not a game that I see myself readily going back to mm -hmm. time and time again, like, you know, some of Kojima's other games. See, he's turning to stone right now. I don't know if I have any. Uh, Put some laxative. Oh, they're all turning to stone. <laughs> I'm by myself. Alright, cool, I cured him. It's, that's one thing that's a really fucking annoying in this game, is you can't, like, if you... Uh, if, like, somebody has a debilitation like that, like, there is no, like, guarantee that you can cure them if you give them the item that they need. Oh, it's percentage <clears throat> chance or something? No, it's like, like, you can give it to them, but then they just won't use it. They only, they only, like, can use things out of their own, like, decision. Or, like, mm. their own AI telling them to use it. And sometimes you give them shit and then they don't fucking use it. It's like, I'm dying of poison. Oh, yeah. There's an answer, though. Yeah, or like, I'm you, dying or like, of poison. Or like, you give, or like you give them items, like, just to heal, and they don't heal. They yeah, just they keep just dying. They just fucking sit there. They just keep dying. Keep dying. There's a there, there's a safe space up here, though. Oh, yips. We can use either the man or the woman's bathroom up here. <clears throat> Wait, they have bathrooms in oh, ancient <laughs> for fortresses? I'm just fucking making dumb shit up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they should have bathrooms. <laughs> or else everyone's just pissing in corners. And shitting in corners. Like, where, where this, where's this Fuck. cockatrice pooping? Like, I know where that cyclops is pooping. He's pooping directly below him. <coughs> yeah, right. He ain't moving. Fuck. I don't want to use 5,000 ref crystals to fix that, but I probably should. Fuck. Fuck. What are you trying to fix? This rift crystal here, because you can call your pawns back. Oh. It's 5,000, though, and I've only got 12. I, I should just fucking do it, why not? <coughs> just because the rift crystals are what you spend to purify shit. Ah, okay. So it's kind of like a, you know, you gotta balance out what you want sort of thing. Mm-hmm. But this is how I get But this is them. like an investment, almost. Yeah, it is in this area. But, it, like, rift crystals are kind of hard to come by. Like, you don't really get a ton of them. You get them here, but, like... The increments you get them in are very small. Yeah, it's probably a lot of grinding to get more and more yeah, and more. Yeah, it is. And then this fucking dude's in here. Shoot. I have a weird face. A lot of forehead. Yeah. <laughs> Scrunched up eyes. Alright, well, I don't, I don't think there's really anything he can do for me. I'm probably gonna head back. Oh, yeah, there's another quest board here, too. That's kind of the other thing. It goes from beyond. <coughs> Excuse me. Soulfire Canyon. Okay. Complete your assignment. I'm probably gonna go to back to the main area. Oh, moonbeam gem. Yeah, you get these moonbeam gems. Those are important. Does it allow you to concentrate a, a beam of moonlight? No. Uh, the main like hub area, I guess, or like it's not. I, it's not really even a hub area, but it's like the main like first area that you meet <coughs> him in. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of doors in it that are locked by, and you need a moon gem to or moonbeam gem to open them. Mm. And they just have like special items in the in them. Okay. I have to I don't remember what items you get, but more moonbeam gems. Yeah, there there's only like a fixed number. There's like six of them or something like that. So they're like um, scattered throughout the the dungeons as you go. Okay. So you got to find them. You got to win them and you got to do them. <laughs> you got to wild them, you got to die them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't think I'm gonna do much more in this episode, cause uh, yeah, cause fuck you. <laughs> I'll get another pawn here real quick. Hi, my name's Aries. Ooh, Ariolos. <laughs> Hello, <clears throat> Belladonna. I need somebody who can heal. Can you heal? Yes, you can. That was quick. All right. Nice. Normally, it takes me like thirty minutes to find one pawn who can heal. 
Pretty much if you can heal, I don't care what else you can do. Just fucking heal. You would think everyone would just want a healing. You would think. That's the whole point of having a four-party party. <laughs> yeah, one to heal, one to tank, one to do damage, and then you do whatever you want to fucking do. Yeah. You would think that they would want their mage to fucking heal, but I guess not. Whatever. Next time at Chin Strap Champs, we beat the game. <laughs> I don't know.